Okay, so in my experience giving car buying advice, many of you put resale value as one of your key criteria of consideration. And that is fair because for many people, your car is your next most expensive purchase after your house. So naturally, you want to recoup as much of that money as possible when it's time to find it a new home. But sadly also, I notice a lot of people inadvertently ruin the resale value of your car. So in today's video, I'll share with you five major mistakes you want to avoid in order to not ruin your car's resale value. But before we start, let's first understand the factors that determine a car's resale value. It's basically a game of supply versus demand. On the demand side of the equation, it is determined by the desirability of your car, how sought after your car is by the marketplace. And this is where most of you make the first mistake. You bought the wrong spec. You thought you saved 20, 30K when you bought the lower spec model, but Here's the thing, a few years down the road, when the price gap between your car and the higher spec one narrows, the next buyer is therefore less hesitant to spend more for the higher spec car. Let me give you some examples. Think of Volvo XC90s without the Bowers and Wilkins sound system or BMW E90s with the four-cylinder petrol engine or Porsches without the Sport Chrono Packs. All these cars will struggle a little to sell compared to units of the same model with higher spec. Now, the next mistake a lot of people make is giving the car wrong mods, especially with regards to the infotainment system. There are, of course, plenty of good modifications that enhance your car's value, but bad mods are guaranteed to turn buyer after buyer away after they view your car. So the rule of thumb is this. When it comes to mods, OEM plus mods are generally safe. So meaning, let's say like you fit something from a higher spec version of your car, like M5 parts into a regular 5 series or Proton R3 parts into your Saga, Persona or Waja, you are fine. But beyond that, firstly, try to ensure that your mods are reversible. So let's say that even if the next buyer doesn't really like what you put in there, it's something that they can take out at a relatively low cost if they like other parts of your car well enough. And it is even better if whatever mods that you put in, is something that can be resold in the aftermarket at a good price, that's even better. Okay, so mistake number three, bad bodywork. Now, it is, of course, impossible uh, to ensure that your car is 100% accident-free. You do get into fender benders from time to time. But you see, when you get into an accident, be sure to have the car repaired properly by a good body shop because substandard repairs will ruin your car's appearance and immediately give prospective buyers a bad first impression. Now, number four is a dirty interior. Because you see, after looking at your car from the outside, the next thing people go will be to check out the interior of your car. A clean interior gives off the impression that you, the seller, have been a meticulous owner and it instills confidence on a potential buyer. Whereas if your interior has torn leather, la, sticky cup holders la, and all that, any potential buyer come and see the car will definitely be turned off and run away. But of course, keeping your interior fresh is a continuous action. And I therefore recommend that you invest in two things. Number one, a good tint to minimize heat damaging the interior plastics of your car. Secondly, also invest in regular interior detailing just to keep the plastic fresh and also the leather moist. And as a quick plug, here is the number and contact of Evo Club Car Wash Team if you want to schedule an interior detailing package for your car. And lastly, of course, number five, bad maintenance. Now, we always talk about full service history and all that. And all, having a full service history definitely helps your car resale value. But let's just say that you forget to keep the bills from your mechanic. That's fine. But 
remember this ah, a badly maintained car right when test drive will rattle la, jerk la, give all sorts of sound warning light and all that that becomes immediate red flags of your car anybody see others who's like it's either they will they will trouble or they will use that to press down the price of your car so to recap if you want to ensure that your car has good resale value the tips are when you are buying the car choose your spec wisely and after you bought the car decide on the things that you install in the car keep it well maintained both mechanically and cosmetically you will have no problems commanding better resale value compared to other units of the same model so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'm particularly interested to know what are the things that you look out for when you buy a used car and of course if you enjoyed today's video give it a like subscribe to my channel and do check out the channel of all my other horizon team members as well on monday nights bobby tana thomas and myself are live on facebook and youtube to take your car buying questions you can also connect with me personally on telegram and for your car care car detailing needs you can always reach out to the evo club car wash team to find out our latest packages and promos and i will see you in the next video